Hey everyone, and today I'll be covering how to use a VPN for smoother gaming on Steam, plus how you can unlock region exclusive games and discounts, even if they're not supposed to be available in your country. High ping and locked game releases are common frustrations, but the right VPN actually gives you a pretty straightforward way around both of those issues. And as always, you'll find links in the description to more in-depth reviews and any available discounts if you'd like to check out any of my favorite VPNs. So one of the more overlooked benefits of using a VPN is that it can actually help you get lower ping in online games, including Steam titles. Sometimes your internet provider will route your traffic in a way that just isn't very efficient, especially during things like gaming or streaming, where there's a lot of data moving around. In some cases, you'll notice your ping is much higher than it should be, just because your connection is being sent on a roundabout path. Now, a good VPN solves this by letting you pick a server that's physically closer to the game's servers. For example, if you're playing Dota 2 on the EU West servers, which are based in Luxembourg, you can just open your VPN, pick a server in Luxembourg or nearby, and instantly get a more direct connection. That way, you can avoid your ISP's long or congested routes and usually see a noticeable drop in ping. And to get this set up, just open your VPN, connect to the server closest to where the game is hosted, and then head into your Steam settings. From there, go to the download settings and change your download region so it matches your VPN location, then restart Steam. This works for any Steam game, and it's especially helpful if you're getting lag that just doesn't make sense based on your normal speeds. Not every VPN is up for the job though. All VPNs will add a little bit of extra latency because of the encryption, but if you go with one that has fast protocols and a good network, the difference can be minimal. ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark are some of the best for gaming because they've built their networks with low ping in mind, and they use protocols like Lightway, Nordlinks and WireGuard to keep things as quick and stable as possible, which is a huge plus for online games. Now, another really practical use for a VPN is changing your Steam region to unlock games or discounts that aren't available where you live. Steam used to make this a lot easier, but over the last couple of years, they've tightened things up. So, refreshing the Steam page after connecting to your VPN isn't enough anymore. They'll actually check for a local credit or debit card from the region you're trying to switch to, and prepaid cards generally won't work. If you want to create a new Steam account in another region though, there's still a way, as long as you're using a VPN that can bypass Steam's VPN detection. ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark all offer obfuscation technology that disguises your encrypted VPN traffic as regular browsing data, which helps you get around Steam's region restrictions. The process is pretty straightforward. First, connect your VPN to the country you want, let's say the UK for example. Then, set up a new Gmail account or use an existing one that hasn't been used with Steam. Go to Steam's account account creation page, enter your details, and make sure the country matches your VPN location. The system will usually set it for you automatically, but it's always good to double check. Some cheaper or free VPNs without obfuscation won't work, because Steam can tell you're using a VPN, but with a good VPN that has obfuscation built in, you shouldn't have any trouble. After your account is created, you'll be able to browse the Steam store for that region, which means you can see games and deals that would otherwise be blocked where you live. So, while you do need a local payment, method to actually buy region locked games, this is still a really helpful way to get access, check prices, or even take advantage of new releases before they come out in your country. So if you're considering a VPN for gaming or unlocking region-exclusive Steam games, there are three that really stand out. ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. ExpressVPN is as reliable as it gets for performance and it's the easiest to use. Connection and disconnect times are some of the fastest around, usually less than a second. There are over 3,000 servers in more than 100 countries, and you get all the essentials like a kill switch, split tunneling, leading protocols, plus add and tracker blocking and even a built-in password manager. Everything's simple and plug and play with no confusing advanced settings and all servers are optimized for every use. ExpressVPN allows up to 14 devices on a single subscription, which covers most households comfortably. So if privacy and simplicity are your top priorities, this is a really solid pick. Now, NordVPN is the best choice if you want the fastest speeds and the most features for your money. Nordlynx gives you great performance for streaming, gaming, and torrenting, and the server network is the largest here, with over 7,800 servers in more than 160 countries. NordVPN includes advanced features like Threat Protection Pro for ad and malware blocking, and specialty servers like DoubleVPN and Onion Over VPN for extra privacy. NordVPN supports up to 10 devices per account, so there's plenty of flexibility if you have a few more devices to cover. This is the option to go with if you want high speed and plenty of extra tools to work with. Surfshark is the go-to for anyone wanting a budget-friendly VPN that still covers
covers everything you need. It keeps costs low, but still delivers strong security and performance. You'll find features like clean web for blocking ads and trackers, dynamic multi-hop, and static IP addresses. It has over 3,000 servers in 100 countries. And while speeds are a little lower than the other two, it's still better than most VPNs, and you get unlimited devices on one subscription. That's a huge plus if you want to share with friends or family. And if you want more details or the latest discounts on any of these, you'll find links to reviews and offers down in the description. Now, if you found this useful, please leave a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. If you have any questions about using a VPN for Steam or want to suggest a topic for a future video, just drop a comment below, as I love getting to answer as many of those as I can. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.